As a person in uh, NCS in Las Vegas myself, so it's one stick. You will select medium rare and your cut type on the screen. You can also input your sear level and then when you click start cooking, the sensors in the device will calculate loads of parameters. It will take your parameters that you've just inputted and then the AI will control the unique dual vertical cooking system which burns at 1650 degrees Fahrenheit to then cook your food and it will move in and out, turn on and off and in about 90 seconds you'll get the best most juiciest food you've ever tried it tasted. to Anna. This avatar uses AI to recognize the, the signs. Uh, so basically we are uh, now doing NLP, so it's uh, is, isolated uh, signs. She recognizes like for example the, the sign call, uh, a name, uh, uh, a few signs, uh, but we can. Uh, we are already uh, going to the next step uh, and uh, generate uh, uh, sign languages uh, and uh, sentences, etc., etc. It recognizes and also it tells you what species it's visiting. Like cardinal is here and long tail tea just like here. And also we have Oreo like here. So it tells you what species it's visiting and also it collects uh, the birds on your phone. So you get to know how many, how many birds are visiting and also you, you got to see by different uh, category. Yes. Uh, it is targeted for small and medium-sized dogs. Uh, We've built our uh, custom uh, 
state-of-the-art computer vision and natural language processing algorithms. So while you might have known the LLMs, like the chat GPT and the large language models, what we do is the VLMs, the visual language models. So uh, uh, we determine a lot of the context of the environment by just seeing the environment, what your dog is doing, and determining the context of the scenario in the physical, uh, physical space. So it has the spatial awareness of the entire uh, entire car room with your dog in it. Because we need to be super fast. So every time that your cat comes from like wants to go inside, we check its face and scan like every image of it. Text two different things. Sure. So with the chip, you want to make sure that only your cat is allowed to come inside. The no images, videos, statistics. <laughs> the most important. I see. I see the videos. <laughs> the the we use AI with our data that we've collected over the years. So what we do is we have an infrared camera, a night vision camera on the outside, and every time that your cat wants to enter the door, it scans its face. And so as soon as it detects prey, it immediately locks the door and the cat has to wait outside until it then tries again without any prey. I think with technology, we're at a really interesting point where the technology is actually more advanced than our creativity. I don't think that we can actually figure out what to do with it, and I think that's what we're seeing this year. We're trying to be creative around the tech, and so there's a lot of misses, but there's also a lot of fun stuff on the floor as well. So I think this is a good, fun year to look at the tech. So I think CES 2024 will definitely go down in the books as a confused mishmash of a year. Because we're going to be seeing AI in a lot of places it shouldn't be. And we're going to be seeing companies tackle the problems of how they should be integrating AI. And so this is an exciting year, but I don't think that a lot of the startups we're seeing this year will make it.